short video I've got to Middle Hope you come down the lovely quiet path and um, yeah we come down the lovely quiet path I've done this walk many many times I've never done it with anyone else by the way I've never walked here with anybody over all these years now right over there in the distance I'll try and zoom in is a church God, what's it called again that church somebody coming not Q Stoke um, sorry I can't remember what I go there it's a village Whit, Whit St Lawrence somebody coming my peace is disturbed and a lot of those sheep there will be um, getting ready to lamb I think I'm going to turn off in a sec because I don't particularly want these people on, they're talking quite loud Right then, I've just come along a boggy track, not too bad Let's just take the zoom back a minute And uh, This is the River Banwell And a there's a small tributary here, the Wood Spring, okay, which is linked up with the Priory. And just over the bank there is the, the Bamwell River, which snake sneaks. It goes in there by that boat, round the corner, and then in, and all the way over that way. But you come in, and then the Wood Spring goes up there, but the Bamwell it sneaked in behind it, that bank there um, They don't have cows, it's a good time if you wanted to explore that To do it now, this time of year, there's no cows But the, a farmer doesn't like people on his land over there And knowing him, he'd probably have a bull out or something He's been, That family have been very, very resistant to the coastal pathway which is what a lot of us want um, they've tried to build bits of it and of course you can't just come along there from where I was <sighs> you can't just jump across that gap there you have to go up a bit and I've got a feeling there is a little bridge or a, a type of weir or something where you can cross over that way to get on that side then you'd have to weave all the way around again and then head over there you can't just head there see what I mean because this is the wood spring a tributary of the Bamwell over there I've got my lovely hills all waiting for me to get going for the new year walking like I said I've been taking it steady because of uh, the chest infection I had my bad cold that went a bit funny um, it has cleared up nicely and I have really rested now during that rest period I was able to do a lot of family tree on the computer uh, since family tree DNA and all that have become more popular more and more people are sharing their stuff more and more documentation is being digitalized and what that means is this every time I go on there's more and more and more stuff I'm overloaded with information to tell the truth I can't keep up with it now if you just stuck to one name that's fair enough until you hit a brick wall which does happen I might go up there now, actually, and get back up on the top rather than go down the dip. I'm going to go up here. What happens is, otherwise I'd have to climb up a steep bank and I don't want to... <sighs> it's okay following one name studies, but what can happen is you hit a brick wall. I've got them with Woods and Smiths. Now someone said if that was all you could do, you would probably find out more. Because you'd be more determined 
but because you've got other surnames to follow it takes you away and your passion because you can easily find stuff on the other names which is also true so basically folks what's happening is um oh, what's that i can see i can see cars over there can i see something so what's happening folks is um I take on the wider extended tree, the lateral view, as well as ascent and descent. That's what I'm doing. And uh, so the amount of information is actually phenomenal. So phenomenal. And of course, the people who organise my database Ancestry.com, Ancestry.co.uk They have got more Sometimes they aren't good in some areas Actually, but in other areas They are also very good, they look at different angles That you might not know or be able to do And that's handy Because that also surface stuff um, all I did then was a little detour, saved me climbing up that hill. I am slightly breathless, but not too bad. No wheeze and no cough. No sneezing, no runny nose. Now for several months, in fact, it was after the flu jab, I had a runny nose, I was coughing, I, was, I felt worse than ever. I'm really starting to go off these jabs, you know. Anyway, going back to tree. Winter's always good for me to catch up, but I never feel as if I ever, ever catch up. Because it's like the magic porridge pot. Anyone who knows about the, ma the child's story, I've called the magic porridge pot. And no matter how much the little boy or girl ate out of the magic porridge pot, because it had been woken up, it kept filling up. And that's what it's like with a tree. I think, oh, that's good. I've done a load there back to the 15th century. And they're digging up more and more stuff. Now, it's hard to do it with just your peasant family. Although, lords of the manor did always keep records, okay? And as I've told people, as soon as you find someone of significance, your tree will open up like no nothing before. Because of property, power, land, taxes and wills. These documents are records. So, once you find someone of significance, it's easier. Especially it, when you find prominent people. Uh, I've got lots of prominent people. The, the Depeches, for example, the Fitzwalters. They're all very significant in history. So loads have been written about them. If I say to you, Hammond Depeche, and you look him up, you'll find loads. And he's one of my ancestors. Right? If I say, Baron... Richard Fitzgilbert, <laughs> loads that declares, and loads of Isaacsons as well. Then we've got the Hassles, we can only go back to about the 15th century with them. The Hazel, I like to call them Hassle, but apparently the people whose name it really is, they call, them ha they call themselves Hazel, but I prefer Hassle. And uh, They've done quite a bit. I think they've put all their stuff in the Carlisle Museum and Archive now. I think there's more of it available now on, the, on them. So, I've done a bit on them. And of course I helped them. And I'm hoping that they will start using their money and their historians to do more on the Potashan ones. So I, I'd showed them things they'd never seen. Photographs I'd taken of 15th century plaster work. 
inside the Bottisham House farm home of the Hassel family. John Hassel and his wife Agnes. And dates. This old lady, who knew an awful lot, I could have spent days with this woman, she would have educated me a lot about the house, the Hassels, everybody. And of course the Hassel family were very tied up with the royal family. They lent Henry VIII and Elizabeth I money. Um, and that's recorded. They also um, well they, they were just a, a very they were tied up with um, Cambridge University. As were the de Clares, Elizabeth de Burr, I think, who was a de Clare, was something to do with the, the um, Clare College. Do you know, I'd love to do a course at Cambridge so I could have a certificate from them. I'm just wondering if I can do an online course with Cambridge University because I'd love to get a certificate with Cambridge on um, because of my link with Cambridgeshire. I'm down in Somerset and I will have ancient people here like Alfred the Great and all his mob but the thing is we're very very rooted up in Cambridgeshire and Suffolk and of course I found Yorkshire people the Bucktons and the Kings and the Robinsons not the Kings so much but the Bucktons and the Robinsons from Wensleydale now that's one of my missions I want to do and that's why I need a vehicle because I need to go up to Yorkshire since I went up there in 2014 area on the Stuckville Trail I've just found so much stuff I've got places I want to go now I have said to myself you ought to get a vehicle even if you only have it for six months so you can go and do a bit of exploring Sheila that's all you need and a bit of camping I want to do a bit of more camping on next more I really do before I know I'm going to get more frail it's got to be done but knowing me I'll be doing it when I'm 100 my gran lived to 100 and nearly 101 and she was still climbing ladders so we got this tough gene we got this robust gene built like greyhounds my dad said but sturdy longevity right here we got that you know on google they're still showing this place with all the buildings on it they haven't updated it at all pictures i've got of the old buildings here look at that gap there oh, bloody get in there easy now I mean I could have walked through but I won't I'll just come up to the fence today Do you know what I once found there's a lovely beach walk I've done where are the tornadoes those propeller things not tornadoes what you call them torpedoes I mean I'll do that another time I'm not doing it today not doing that it's a separate day. It would be a lovely day to do it today. It's very calm. What a beautiful day this is. It's a very beautiful day today. It's like tomorrow. It's going to be another gorgeous day. In fact, it's going to be even better than today. Where I should, in theory, go out. But duty calls. Um, so... We'll have to see. Look at this beautiful place, everyone. We've got uh, Cardiff over there with a the Millennium Dome and all that sort of thing. I can see flat home. Not, uh, no animals out. They must have gathered all the sheep in for... They might have been doing filming up here. They do Sandington drama up here. Sort of 18th, 17th, 18th century drama. Uh, Sandington was written by Jane Austen and not quite finished. Someone's turned it into a drama. So, folks, 
I've got a feeling it might be the 19th today. Or it could be the 20th. I always get muddled. And um, the bus came all the way down. I got on the bus. I do walk over this way from where I live, but I do... If I get the bus, I can do a bit more exploring. Nobody out at the moment. There were a few out. It's beautiful though. I just love this place, you know. And I need to get a bus over to Clevedon Pier again. That's an, I can do these day trips, you see. I got a bus pass. That's what I was saying about some trips, like going to York for a weekend, I'd like to do. Because I had a terrible experience driving there once. I've explained about it before and the police had to help guide me out of the place. It was really bad. There were so many, many roundabouts and they all looked the same. Well, I was going round in circles as well. So, it put me off a bit. So basically, I decided I wouldn't mind getting a, staying in a Premier Inn and going up there for a long, it doesn't have to be the weekend, I could do it in the week. And I could go to the museum and the castle, go and visit Zara's grandmother's grave. Uh, well, she got ashes. Maybe. Yeah. So folks, I want to turn off now and take some pictures of these beautiful scenes. Over and out.